My husband Wesley and I just watched President Biden's State of the Union address from our living room. And uh, what we saw was the performance of a permanent politician who has actually been in office for longer than I've been alive. President Biden just doesn't get it. He's out of touch. Right now, the American dream has turned into a nightmare for so many families. From abandoning our allies in his disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan to desperately pushing another dangerous deal with Iran. President Biden has failed. We've become a nation in retreat. We know that President Biden didn't just create this border crisis. He invited it with 94 executive actions in his first 100 days. Just think about Lake and Riley. In my neighboring state of Georgia, this beautiful 22-year-old nursing student went out on a jog one morning, but she never got the opportunity to return home. She was brutally murdered by one of the millions of illegal border crossers President Biden chose to release into our homeland. Tonight, President Biden finally said her name, but he refused to take responsibility for his own actions. Mr. President, enough is enough. Innocent Americans are dying and you only have yourself to blame. Sadly, we know that President Biden's failures don't stop there. The American people are scraping by while well, President Biden proudly proclaims that Bidenomics is working. Goodness, y'all, bless his heart. We are the party of hardworking parents and families. We strongly support continued nationwide access to in vitro fertilization. Every generation has been called to do hard things. American greatness rests in the fact that we always answer that call. Never forget, we are steeped in the blood of patriots who overthrew the most powerful empire in the world. We walk in the footsteps of pioneers who tamed the wild.